Final Edit. My name is Jeff, and in this episode, we're going to cover a simple adjustment layer and adding lens flare for that extra pizzazz. All right, this is going to be a really simple how-to, how to use lens flare. Um, I'm already working on a project, so I figured since uh, I was going to do it anyways, I might as well show you guys what I'm going to do. Here I'm working on uh, something I already did a how-to for and um, well you've seen the how-to for this but actually I'm not done yet I'm just doing more than one how-to at once all right so what I'm gonna do is uh, basically I, you know I rendered this intro and I was like oh you know what it really didn't end too well so I I put a little fade on on the end here that's all and then I was in here and I was like oh you know what while I'm in here I could do something make it look even better so Here's what I'm going to do. <clears throat> All right, see how he's turning right here? Looks like a good spot to make some kind of cool effect. So I'm going to go up to layer right here and I'm going to add a new layer. And uh -oh. whoa, whoa, damn dog. I'm going to add an adjustment layer right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to size this adjustment layer just by dragging it over here to where I am, ish, right about there. Uh, make up your mind, Jeff. There we go. <clears throat> and you just type in flare right here, like I already didn't do it, <laughs> and you'll see lens flare which is a handy dandy awesome little effect um, so I'm gonna drag that right onto my adjustment layer a nice thing about the adjustment layer is it's over top of everything you're doing so you're not really changing what's underneath so you could still use or keep that whatever is underneath without harming it but you can add effects over top with an adjustment layer and that's what an adjustment layer is. Um, it, it can get more complicated than that though, but we'll try not to do that to you. So right here at the adjustment layer, I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna go to the transform right away and I'm gonna move this right on the lightsaber here. So it's got like a cool effect, right? Then I'm going to hit the position and also going to drag out the adjustment layer um, scale. The reason I do that is because you never want your adjustment layer too small um, in your scenes and you want the light to go past what you're doing and come back freely without getting cut off and seamed and looking stupid. So I always make my adjustment layers bigger than my actual work area. If that helps at all so you see I've got this cool effect already and I'm gonna click the stopwatch on position um, on uh, anchor point and you know what I'm gonna go into the effects even for the lens flare and I'm going to click on the stopwatch for the flare brightness and the flare center and then what I'm gonna basically do here is just step forward into the scene with the next frame and as my lightsaber moves my light will move with it giving it a really cool effect To do, to do, to do. Giving it some really 3D cool stuff. I think so. And it's just that little wee bit of extra that most people's eyes don't really catch and are like, wow, that looks so good, but I know something's going on here, but I don't know what. And I'm stepping forward about five or six frames each time, lining it up, 
Ooh. Okay, and at this part, since the lightsaber is going to disappear, so will my lens flare. But it gives it that nice little look. We're going to end the solid, or not that, well, it is technically a solid, but the adjustment layer right there. And uh, you've added a cool effect, and it's simple as could be. All right, everybody, that's my how to. Um, if you've been watching my videos, you should know how to render stuff and save stuff and stuff like that. But since you may not, let's do it anyways. File. Uh, oh wait, how about we'll just add this to render queue. So go to composition, add to render queue. Um, whoops, cancel that. Go to lossless, and we're gonna go to. H264 and we're going to call this Star Wars Cut 2 save and we're going to render and that's As all you always, do everybody comment subscribe and check out the other videos